Discord. So okay. loud. Um, so we're just doing a quick little like video about NIL deals. Um, so our first question is who did you choose to partner with and why? Okay. Do you want like all of the names or just a couple? Um, Summer mentioned you were with Duncan. So if we could just focus on the Duncan one, that'd be great. Okay. Um, I partnered with Duncan because they reached out to the athletic department and they wanted someone who has had experience with NIL and right as it came about and was cleared through the NCAA, I hopped right on and wanted to help promote other people and get paid. And Duncan kind of has this certain thing where they picked certain athletes, big and small, it doesn't really depend on following. And they just wanted to be able to help promote us while we promote them through the sport that you do. And that was what like stood out to me the most. Would you say Duncan is like the biggest um, like partnership you have? Because you said you've already had some NIL deals. You have some other ones. Yeah, Duncan is definitely the biggest one I've had. And I partnered with them last year and then they reached out again. It's kind of just like a five month deal. And it's my second time doing it now. So they have different ideas and different requirements they have now. So it's a little bit different. Um, do you feel a sense of responsibility or pressure with your increased visibility due to the NIL deal? Uh, no, the only thing I've had a struggle with is um, we have to submit like our payments to the athletic department, which it's a little, I mean, it's like talking about how much money you make like in a job. Mm -hmm. So that's been a little weird for me because I know other universities don't require that. So nothing visible wise, I don't feel any pressure or anything, but I definitely don't like like having to submit how much money I make on each deal. Um, and how do you anticipate NIL deals evolving in the context of collegiate sports? Um, I think they're just going to get bigger and bigger as long as they keep the requirements in place. Um, obviously, at big colleges, people are like getting cars and partnering with like Ford and stuff like that, especially with football teams. And it's changed the recruiting process a lot. Um, athletes are deciding what school they go to based off their NIL money that they can make. So I think bigger schools are able to bring in the best athletes now and NIL really helps each university. Um, and how do the NCAA regulations of NIL like affect your partnership deals? I think you kind of touched upon it already of how you have to, you know, tell them how much money you make but um another thing that makes it a little bit difficult with NIL um Duncan is my only deal that I'm able to show anything that says UNH or the logo or even like backgrounds of our logo in the gym like just for gymnastics and that sport wise um I can't really post in our competition leotards if it says like UNH down the sleeve and that's definitely something that the NCAA is going to try and fix because it's your university also wants to be promoted in the NIL, NIL brand deals you're doing. So I think that's one of the problems they're trying to solve. Yeah. Um, and then the last question is, how do you balance your academic responsibilities with the responsibilities of your NIL deal? Um, it's a little different for me now, but when NIL first came out, I I was doing it all by myself. So there's certain NIL apps you can download and you can apply to deals and you either get accepted or denied and you kind of have a rate for your price. So it was difficult back then just because I was doing it all myself and taking time out of my day and like sometimes even doing it during class and not focusing like that was a problem. But now it's much easier because I have an agent. So with an agent, they send you all the deals that they think you would like and they set your price. If you don't like the price, you're able to kind of discuss with them what you would want. So I would say it's much easier with an agent, but then again, I'm still able to go outside of that and do my own deals as well if I wanted to apply to anything. Sweet, perfect. That's it. That's <laughs> all we have, yeah. Just super, we, we did one like a few months ago, so we're just getting more and talking to more athletes. Um, to make it just like a longer package. So thank you very much. Of course. What class is this? Uh, this is sport media production. So we do like a 
relations. news show. Oh, relations. <laughs> and it's like we do a show each week, a news show. And it's like posted on YouTube. I think we have like yeah, we seven just, followers. Yeah. But... yeah, we do like recaps. <laughs> we do recaps and previews of like upcoming, you know, games, meets, stuff like that. Like we said, we don't have that many uh, subscribers, but it's for the grade. So yeah. it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.